Hello everyone, I'm Steve, you know Mark's around, and this is Smokey Steve and Mark, either welcome or welcome back, and hope you're having a good day, look after yourselves. So, we'll jump right into this. You know guys, I love infomercials. Kathy Mitchell is like a stepmother to me. I, I think of her, what would she do in tight situations? Ron Popeil. I was kind of a chunky, lonely kid. So I spent a lot of time watching TV while everyone else was out playing. And I fell in love with infomercials. They were very safe. They're very interesting to me. How people get so excited over something that scrambles eggs in the microwave is always, you know, interesting. But I do like the products. Now, I don't actively buy any of the products. Um, they're just fun things to look at. But as it happens, we had received as a wedding gift a product that was very similar to one I was going to buy myself. And we were getting heart and home. It's a three-in-one waffle iron. So what are the three things? We used it to make waffles. You guys actually, if you were in the Christmas video, we introduced it right then. And we did cinnamon roll waffles in the waffle iron. And they came out pretty good with icing on the end. So good. Um, so we showed off the waffle one. There's two other plates that come with it. They're exchangeable. So you would take the waffle ones out and put these other ones in. One is supposed to be for omelets. And another supposed to be for egg waffles or bubble waffles. I had to look it up. Apparently, it's a popular street food in Hong Kong after about World War II, I guess, is when they said it kind of hit prominence. So why this machine had a device for something so specific, I wasn't sure. But I looked up a recipe and we gave it a whirl. Eggs? Who can't cook eggs? This is supposed to be pretty easy, pretty not messy. We'll see how that goes, too. All right, so let's just get to the kitchen and see what's what. no see right okay so we're gonna check out two of the other features that come with the help and home three-in-one waffle maker egg waffle maker and omelet maker now like I said we've already done the actual uh, waffle looking ones with the squares and it's like that we made some cinnamon roll waffles out of it and it was good so we're gonna check out how the rest of these shake down now I didn't know what an egg waffle was but apparently that's the mold for one I had zero idea of what it was gonna be I had none and as it turns out, with a little research, it was actually bubble waffles, or also another name for it, um, or egg waffle, that they were a street food in Hong Kong, which was news to me. And apparently still to this day, it started after World War II and then just caught on. Um, so it's new to me, uh, so we'll put our ingredients together and we'll see how this one shakes down. So we're making batter. This is preheating. Dry ingredients. Okay. We have one and a half cups of flour, all purpose. Three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. In this recipe, it goes in the dry, not the wet. And this is two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of cornstarch, and a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. And that's all our dry ingredients. So we give them a zhuzh. You can sift if you must. So we get all that. Dry aside, now our wet ingredients. We have two eggs that we're gonna beat up a little bit. Okay, then we also have half a cup of water, just tap water, half a cup of evaporated milk, the kind in the can, three tablespoons of vegetable oil or canola oil, and finally a teaspoon of vanilla. Use your husband's if he makes it. So that's, we're going to mix those together just lightly, it doesn't need to be all fluffy. And then we're gonna make a little well, and then all at once, add that in. And we're gonna stir this j just until the lumps are gone. We don't wanna beat it to death, it'll get a little tough. So I'm gonna work my way through this and I will catch up with you in a second. 
Ta-da! Batter! From my bit of sleuthing, this is supposed to come back to us tasting somewhere between a waffle, um, a funnel cake, and a crepe. So, we are preheated. Follow the instructions on your own if you want to do it. You want to use a bowl or a cup with a spout on it. Our goal is really to fill in all the egg spaces. It doesn't matter what goes on top of them, and if it's too much, it'll just burst out the side. So, here we go. Doesn't have to be perfect. It does have to be good. And that's it. All right, put that aside. Now we are going to close it. It has a little snap on this one. We're gonna let it go for about a minute and a half or two minutes and then flip it. This whole thing will come up and flip. I'll show you that. And then a couple of minutes after that. So three to four total. And um, we'll be back when it's time to flip. Okay, it's been about a minute and a half or so. So we're going to pick up and turn our waffle. That was the instructions. Then another minute and a half or so. Set a timer if you're like me and you lose track of things. So I'll see you in 90 seconds. All right, it's time. Let's take a look. This one has a little latch, so be careful. There we go. Now you can see I put a little bit too much batter in. So you can see that it's kind of falling off the sides. But, because why wouldn't you put powdered sugar on it? Okay, maybe maybe isn't as traditional, maybe is. This is often served with fruit. Um, if they're made into cones, when they're hot and hold their shape, you might get it on the street with ice cream in it. I went old school because I tried a piece and it was giving me funnel cake vibes, but not fried. So, a little bit of powdered sugar. These pieces pop off like that. And they're very good. So, there you have it. Our home and health three-in-one waffle maker, the Egg Waffle. And so, so we went through, we did the egg waffle, and it was really, really pretty good, I have to say. Um, so we're gonna try the last one we have, and it's the omelet setting. So this is supposed to make two little omelets. We'll see. Um, I gave it a spray, let it sit for a little bit, and we're just gonna go in. So we're estimating here, there was no recipe I found, so I've got three eggs with a little bit of, like a dash of salt. And give them a little whip. Now we're gonna open up, and what I have to go with it too are some ham, frozen and leftover, and some mixed peppers and onions. I buy these in the bag, frozen, nuke a handful, and then chop them up. So I'm gonna put down the peppers and the ham first. You hear the sizzle? That's a sizzle. Alrighty. And the ham. As much or as little as you'd like. I will tell you, though, from foibles with waffles, it will spill over the side if it's too full. <laughs> so, just to let you know, that could happen. All right. Then we have our three eggs. I'm just going to divide them between the two wells. And put a little cheese on top. A little grated cheese. This is Colby Jack, I think. Use sharp. Use whatever. No big. And, all right, we're gonna close it and lock it. You can hear the sizzle. And I'm gonna let this go for four minutes. At two minutes, I'm gonna flip it again. So we'll give it the flip. You don't have to see this one. And then when we're opening it up, we'll be done. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back. Helpful hint. If when you lock it, doing eggs especially, it starts to scream at you, like clams do when you cook them, um, if you have a latch on your device, unlatch it, because anything that's gonna rise is gonna need a little room. The eggs will find a way. So let's see how we did. Well, hello. That doesn't look too bad. So that was three eggs, a little handful of peppers, just a little handful of ham, and we have omelets for two, if I cannot ruin them. Ha! Huh. Ta -da! So for our last feature, it's the omelet maker, and I'd say it looks pretty good. So there you have it. Three-in-one waffle maker, egg waffle maker, and omelet maker. 
Oh my god, with the powdered sugar, it's it's over the edge. As you can see, there's our crispy bubble waffle, egg waffle. It tastes like funnel cake to me. Um, it breaks off into these little pieces, kind of, so it's it's kind of cute. Um, like a, And it tastes like, you know how funnel cake's fried? It tastes like that, but not fried. Kind of a pancake, kind of a crepe, kind of a waffle, all in between. Mm, very tasty. And very social, too, I would say. And, of course, we had our... We had our little omelets come out. It made two, two fair sized, three eggs between the two of them, and then ham and peppers. And that came out really good too. So, not a mukbang. So, what is the verdict? Well, I have to say I'm actually pretty happy. The criteria I had were very low. It works sort of like it does on TV. So it passed that definitely. Um, it makes something difficult for a beginner, it makes it easier for someone who's a beginner of this type of thing. I never made waffles before. Um, the machine's easy to use. There's not even an on-off. You just plug it in, it heats up, and when the lights are gone, you're you're ready to go. Everything only took two to four minutes, and the thing heated up in about five. It came pretty quick. So, I give it two thumbs up. I approve. Uh, so, I wanted to ask you guys if you'd be interested um, if I could play a little more with my infomercial products and then make videos out of them. I like doing it. It's fun. Um, I can give something of a review, a very anecdotal, casual review. And um, we'll just see what else there is to see out there. So that's all I have for you tonight. So thank you all for watching. Please do subscribe. Hit the bell. You'll get alerts when we have new videos and go live. You can follow us on Facebook at Smokey Steve Space and Mark. Or on Instagram at Smokey Steve and Mark. Email and contact info below. Thank you. And I will catch up with you soon. Y'all take care. Okay? Bye.